Regardless of where you may be in your career, you've probably had a few questions that you need to find some answers to, but maybe you didn't know who to ask. Maybe you're kicking off a brand new career with a brand new job and want to figure out how to build a solid foundation for your future career. Or maybe you've been working for a few years already, or even a couple decades, but you maybe have a promotional interview coming up and you want to figure out how to prepare for that. Wouldn't it be great to have access to someone who's lived a little bit more life than you have and who could help answer some of these questions for you? That would be amazing. You would be looking for a mentor. The question is, how do you find the right one? Hi, I'm Emmanuel Wallace, a recent graduate from UNC Charlotte's College of Engineering. And on this episode of Peak Demand, we're gonna be speaking with Alan Evora, the CEO of Affinity Energy and a new Epic affiliate on why mentorship is important and how it can help you in your career. All right, everyone. So here I'm sitting with Alan Evora, um, CEO of Affinity Energy. So thanks for taking the time to speak with us today about mentorship. Well, you're welcome, Emmanuel. It's a pleasure being here and I'm glad that I can help. Thank you. So just hopping right into it. Uh, we know you took part in a speed mentorship session at Epic recently. And so we wanted to ask you a few more questions. Um, you know, starting off, why is it important for, you know, any um, professional or specifically an engineering professional to you know have mentorship in their career path? Sure that's a great question Emmanuel you know and it's one that I have put a lot of thought to as we've hired young professionals within my own company and you know, none of us comes out of school really fully prepared for what the working world is like especially as engineers we we have a a big focus on the technical or the hard skills that, you know, that's what we're taught in school and where we spend a majority of our time. But uh, to be beneficial within the work uh, place, it's important to have soft skills. You know, how, to, how do you bring benefit to your organization? How do you, you know, identify your, your own professional development and how do you go about pursuing that professional development? you know, in a manner that gets you to your goal sooner than later. So I think mentors is a good, great way, and I've done it myself in order to progress within the work world. Awesome, so you said you've done it yourself. Um, I'm sure you've been a mentor for some people, but um, does the mentor have a mentor? And if so, you know, who was your favorite mentor? You know, that's, that was a tough question. I, I thought a little bit about um, the different mentors I've had throughout my career, and I've had Several, you know, just depended on where I was in my career. Um, but the one that I think of the most was a mentor that I had when I transitioned from being an engineer to being more of a manager of engineers, whether it was a project engineer or whether it was a project manager. It was the CEO of the second company that I worked for. He kind of took me under my wing. And what I really learned from him was, again, he taught me how to think critically about things and really he was also the type of individual that was he was optimistic all the time you know he he looked at every setback or even a hurdle as an opportunity he made the time for those around him he knew that his success was going to be predicated on the success of all the individuals around him and i really think fondly of the time that i spent with him and how that helped me kind of transition out of being an engineer into being a, a manager and, and someone who had responsibility for other individuals. What success of yours could you kind of attribute to, you know, mentorship? Sure. Well, um, for me, I think the thing that I found, it's like most things in life, you know, you, you have resources and tools around you and how you utilize those tools and resource will allow you will determine whether you will be successful or whether you know you're going to take a little bit longer route to success um, being a business owner you know one of the things that I, I learned and this was something that I got from my second mentor was there's a lot of um, decisions that need to be made a lot of aspects that have to deal with um, you know in business a lot of it has to do with risk mitigation you know you're you're dealing with that aspect but for me, having a mentor that could help me not only um, navigate through some of those challenges, but also someone that I could trust. 
um, you know, if you kind of look at the definition of a mentor, it's someone that has experience and that you can trust. What's a good place to start for finding the right one for you? Sure. Well, um, certainly if you're a recent graduate, I would leverage the professionals that are available through your school. That'd be a good start to explore professional organizations that are related to your, your field of choice. You know, if you're an electrical engineer, I think of IEEE. If you're in the energy space, uh, the Association of Energy Engineers. Certainly within your workplace, it's always um, you know, ripe with potential mentors. I think you need to put some thought when it comes to your workplace, you know, because you do want someone that you can trust, it, trust and be vulnerable with. You know, it may not be someone that you are directly working for or that you know, is responsible for evaluating your performance. You know, it just depends on the individual and depends on the mentor. Well, that's a lot of solid advice. I feel like uh, students or anyone watching this will be more than equipped to uh, take that first step to find a mentor. Well, certainly. Well, Emmanuel, it's been a pleasure speaking with you and um, I look forward to seeing the, uh, the episode soon. All right, likewise. All right. Have a good one. All right, take care. Thank you everyone for stopping by and checking out this episode of Peak Demand. We hope you're now inspired to find a mentor or even provide mentorship to someone who may need it from you. For the Energy Production and Infrastructure Center, I'm Emmanuel Wallace.